Hey guys, it's Cam Kane. Welcome back to the next episode of the Coaching Carousel Dynasty in NCAA football. And last time out, we had a eh, tough loss um, to our old school uh, UConn. Really struggled on the def defensive end, gave up 52 points. After holding Florida to 23 and Fresno State to 10, we really, really, really struggled giving up 52 points. And it's not going to get much easier this time out. We are up against number two, Georgia, who are 4-0. Did schedule uh, five people for this game. We got leads on them right now, and we're just gonna try and get those leads even bigger and try and get them committed as soon as possible so we can, you know, put some more points on other people. Free safety, Andrew Bennett, who's got 95 speed. Not the greatest of coverage, you know, stuff like that, but he's got good tackling, good pursuit. He's an 80 overall, so he's only gonna get better. Um, but yeah, 95 speed, Andrew Bennett, free safety. Ryan Harris. A center like I said at the beginning of the year we're gonna go after a bunch of offensive linemen because our offensive lineman is kind of lacking right now so we want to get some depth there and some youth um, David Rogers who is a uh, only a 72 speed um, athlete but uh, got really good tackle uh, decent hit power um, looks like it could be a defensive player so it's gonna be definitely very interesting what he's gonna be but he's a 75 overall so I mean he can't not be some good at something so could be an emergency quarterback if we ever need something like that but um, we also have two outside linebackers coming Dale Mack and Jed Larson we needed outside linebackers to be in this year uh, Jed Larson is an 88 speed so be big coming off the edge could possibly switch to a defensive end I don't know I have to wait and see but those are our prospects we have coming or who we're gonna try and get committed here soon so we can start putting more points on other people Georgia 99 overall 97 offense and a 99 defense so we definitely have our hands full here today but yeah here we go get it started against number two georgia we're navied out it is a run to white at the beginning and he goes got a big lane up the middle and that's a big 23 yard carry already for zamir white it's another run to white and we do bring him down in the backfield so after a big carry we do hold him into the backfield, but they do go hurry up here, so. They do have a tight end out wide, Fitzpatrick, and he is going to drop it. It's going to be a pass here on third and 11. And we do get to the quarterback, and we do get a sack. Let's go. Big sack right there from Hall. Oh, my goodness. And they blow back, blow up that run in the backfield right away for a four-yard loss to start. So we do go pass here on second down. And we got Palmer over the middle. Sterling Palmer with a big cane over the middle. 34 yards through the air to our big 90 overall tight end. Wiggins up the middle is going to get a 10-yard carry for the first down. And... More pressure on us once again, and we are sacked in the backfield. This defense is just tearing up our offensive line right now. It's going to be a run to White, and he's going to get the corner and only going to get nine yards on the carry. There's going to be another run to White. Jones gets caught up. Gant gets his tackle broken, and that's going to be a face mask. Oh, It is going to be a pass here on second and nine. They have a man out wide. Washington drops the pick. Oh. Sam Washington with a great read. He was guarding the receiver, but he saw the throw coming to the tight end, and he stops to try and pick it off, but can't. It's going to be a pass here on third and nine. They go four verts. They dump it down to White, and Jones is going to tackle him for only a three-yard reception, and that's going to be another stop on third down, so they're going to have to punt it away once again. Play action fake to the receiver. We had some space, but he couldn't get going, but it's going to be a three-yard reception for Jim Colvin. So it's going to be a short third and three right here. Kylan Wiggins did very well to get the ball out last second right there. So we are going to go read option to the right right here. And Kylan Wiggins does have a hole, and he's not going to get the first down. Oh, no. Actually, we're just going to go halfback dive right here. Up the middle, Malik Williams, first down. Here we go. Kylan Wiggins gets some space. He didn't get a help block over there on the left, but... It is going to be a gain of seven yards, and we're not going to go hurry up this game because I kind of want to want to run this clock, and I don't want to give Georgia a lot of time 
with the football. So it is a blitz here. We do get it off quick. Malik Williams does get the first down. We do have the quick pass to O'Meara over the middle. He sh stiff arms one and gets a big 15-yard gain on the play. And we're going to go hurry up back to the five wide. We are going to triple option, motion option to the left right here with Kadarius Gaskin. And we do give it to Gaskin. He's going to get a spin move, stiff arm, breaks two tackles and gets the first down. Kadarius Gaskin with a good play right there. And we are going to go hurry up. Wiggins with a great juke move. He gets to the outside and he gets a big pickup on the play of 17 yards. Kylan Wiggins, great juke move to get some four more yards for the first down. Completely shakes that safety out of his boots. We do have Sterling Palmer to the right, and that's going to be picked off. Oh, great read from the linebacker right there. Gets the interception. That was a bad pass on my part. I thought he was more open than what he was. We do guess run up the middle, and we get him in the backfield. So we get a two-yard loss on the play, and they are backed up against their own end zone right here. They are going to pass right here on third and ten. Hall gets the quarterback, but not in time. They get it out to White, and he gets the first down. Samir White with a 12-yard reception. Do we have a man over the middle, but Bennett's not going to get it to him, and he's going to take the sack. Wow. Surprising right there. Josh Powell on the sack. I thought he was going to throw it away once he scrambled out of the pocket, but no. Kylan Wiggins juke move to the outside, breaks two tackles, and he's going to get a big gain of 17 yards. Kalen Wiggins getting us down into field goal range to maybe get us the first points of this game. Still, neither team have put points on the board as of yet. Do have the dump off to Sterling Palmer. Sterling Palmer is going to get a nine-yard pickup. And, oh, they bring a blitz and read it wonderfully right there. So it's going to be a short third and four. Sterling Palmer is wide open. We get it to him. He cuts it upfield, and he falls forward and gets a big 10 yards for the first down. See if we can get it to work this time. As they go out for Malik Williams, and Wiggins goes right up the middle, and that's going to be a touchdown. Kalen Wiggins, as we take the lead with only a minute left in the second quarter. The first points of the day by either team comes with only a minute left in the second. What a surprising game this has been. Run. Oh, big return. Oh, my goodness. You have got to be kidding me. Is that white? Yeah, Zamir White. Their fucking star running back returns kicks as well. Breaks three or four tackles in the middle of the field and returns it all the way for a touchdown. Longest kick return in NCAA history. Awesome. Maybe get the first down with Kalen Wiggins on this outside. Oh, they go. Oh, Malik Williams up the middle is going to fall short of the first down. It's going to be a short fourth and one. Hmm. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. They call a time timeout for us to stop the clock because they want the ball back. But we're going to go for it right here on fourth. We're going to risk it. And they go after Malik Williams. And that's a big cap for Kalen Wiggins as he goes all the way down to the 40. We're going to call a timeout. Let's go. Big run right there from Kalen Wiggins gets us the first down. We go play action fake here. Going deep to Gaskin. He makes the catch. Touchdown, <laughs> Kadarius Gaskin. Let's go. And we get seven more points before the end of this quarter is over. So after being 0-0 with all the way down until two minutes left of the second quarter, three touchdowns get scored in less than two minutes. And... Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, they are going to pass it here on first down. They do take a shot deep downfield, and they have a man, Blaylock. Are you fucking kidding me? Blaylock runs by everybody and gets the touchdown. So there have been four touchdowns scored in less than two minutes. Oh, my God. God. We do have O'Mara over the middle. And he's going to drop the pass. Oh, no. But that would have been a big, big catch from O'Mara. That would have helped us out a lot. Kalen Wiggins does scramble out. 
And he does have a man going deep. Wide open. Colvin breaks the tackle. And that's going to get us inside the 40. And we're going to hurry it up right here. I'm going to try and hit Fordnall or Thornton right here on one of these slant routes. Like right there. Go down, go down. All right, timeout. Oh, I don't know if we can hit this field goal or not. 50 yarder. Yeah, I don't think he has the leg for this. A little bit against the wind. Yeah, I don't I don't I really don't think he has the leg for this. No, he doesn't. And they're going to try and return it here. Palmer gets a big hit and there we go. So we don't let him return the kick the field goal. But yeah, now we know where our kicker's kind of max range is at. 50 is definitely way too far. But we do start with the ball because we kicked. We elected to kick at the beginning of the game. Looks like they're bringing a blitz right here. So I'm going to change it up real quick. And Omira is wide open right there if I can get it to him quick. I can't get it to him quick. Omira makes the catch. There we go. And we're going to go hurry up right here. We're going to catch him off guard a little bit. They do bring a blitz. but the, So the screen works. Malik Williams has got the corner. Malik Williams stiff arm. Gets a big gain of 26 yards through the air. And that's another big first down. Dump it off to Malik Williams. And he's going to get close to the first down. But not going to get it as Max is doing rage cardio in the background. Going ham. As we kick this 30-yard field goal. And it is good right down the middle. So a second and 11. I'm going to guess pass. It is pass. And Bennett's going to take off the first time this game. That's why I didn't run a spy. And he's going to slide down for a first down. Ooh, close to a first down. He does not get the first down. So it's going to be a short third and one. And I'm going to guess run here. It's going to be a risk, but I am going to guess run. I'm going to keep Gant back here just in case. But I'm going to guess run up the middle. No, it is a pass. It's a short pass, and they get the first down. Oh, he fumbles it right to Blaylock. Oh, my God. The guy who ran by us all the way. We are bringing a blitz off this right side. They do read it a little bit. And they have a dump off over the middle. And Pickens is going to get the first down. George Pickens with a gain of eight yards. It is going to be a run through Zamir White. And we do get him in the backfield for a three-yard loss. It is going to be a pass. It is going to be a screen pass. I read it with McCray, but he gets blocked. And we push him out of bounds around the three-yard line. So it's going to be a short, short third and goal right here. It's going to be a pass right here on third and goal. And they find Carey, but he doesn't get in the end zone. So we get him short. Spencer Carey falls short of the end zone. And it's going to be fourth and goal on the two. And they are going to elect to kick a field goal very short right here. Surprising move from Georgia. I really thought they were going to go for it. But they decide to take the three points instead, and that's good. It's going to be a run up the middle through White. And he's got a lane. Shoves off McCray's tackle and gets brought down by Hall after a gain of 15 on the play. I'm guessing pass. It is pass right here. And he's going to have to throw it away. Yes, let's go. And it is good. So Georgia take a three-point lead with five minutes to go. It is a zone play. Wiggins is going to scramble and... Ugh, not going to get anything at all. Terrible, terrible drive. They are going to pass here, though. Bennett scrambles out and takes a sack. Let's go. Big, big sack right there, and it's going to be a short third and eight. We've got to stop him right here. They do go with the check down to Fitzpatrick, and we do hold him right here, and they are going to punt it away. I'm going to save all the timeouts for defense, so they are going to drain this clock down. Hopefully they cannot pin us down. Hopefully they don't pin us deep right here. They bring a blitz right here, but Wiggins scrambles away from it. And Wiggins got some room down this side, and he gets a big 14-yard rush and gets out of bound, which is key. That stops the clock, so we don't have to use any timeouts. Kalen Wiggins having a big, big game here today. Does look like they're bringing another blitz here. We're going to go dump down to Malik Williams. And we are going to use one of our timeouts right there. Kalen Wiggins does get the first down. So we're going to go hurry up since we got the first down. You have the quick pass over the middle to Gaskin. And that's going to be another first down. So here we go. Driving right down the field. Are going to go hurry up back to the read option. 
Actually, they're in zone right here. I'm going to switch the play up a little bit. No, they're not in zone. They're in a man. And, ah, good thing he got that away. Good thing he got that away and didn't take the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. So there goes our uh, big playmaker on offense, Kalen Wiggins, broken collarbone, out for the season. So this offense is going to look a whole lot different from now on. It is Stone Norton's offense, and he's more of a pocket passer. So this is going to be a very different looking offense for the rest of the year. We do have a man out wide, Gaskin, who does get out of bounds. Seven-yard pickup and gets out of bounds. Got O'Meara over the middle. O'Meara gets a good gain right there. And that's going to be a first down over the middle. 18 yards. And we're uh, in field goal range right here. So Stone Norton going to go over the middle to Colvin. Colvin is going to get brought down. That was a face mask though, right? Stone Norton does get the first down right here. And we're going to go hurry up right here. As you see right there, down at the bottom, Wiggins, broken collarbone, out for the season. But Stone Norton is driving us down the field. He takes a big sack, and he fumbles it, and luckily, we get the ball back. Oh, my goodness. And it's a third and 20. They brought the house, and it catches us off guard. Oh, man, oh, man. We're just going to screen pass it, and nothing's really on there, and hopefully our kicker can hit this field goal. Oh, man, oh, man. It's telling us to go for it? Excuse me, what? It doesn't think he can hit a 46-yarder? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. But it's make or break time right here. No timeouts left, so we're just going to kick it at the very end of the play clock. Full power. And it falls short. Oh. And we lose a heartbreaker to Georgia. Oh. All right, so since the injury to Kalen Wiggins, I'm going in and kind of looking for a Wildcat running back. I mean, Wildcat running back. Um, a spread option quarterback and... As you can see right here, we have Jim Colvin. He probably was an athlete they they uh recruited because he's got 79 throw power with 74 accuracy. Um, his carrying, which I really like, is 94, so he doesn't fumble the ball a lot. And also, he's got 86 speed. So I think he's going to be our backup quarterback we put in for our spread option. I really honestly think he is. All right, so we advance forward, and as you can see right there, we get two big offensive linemen recruits to commit to our team, which is big. That was two of our goals we set out at the beginning of the year to get a bunch of offensive linemen, and we got two big 75 overall ones coming. I think one's a freshman and one's a Juco. Um, I could be wrong, but I think that's it. Um, Andrew Bennett got plus 550, and we got two outside linebackers who got plus 50, 550 on the visits as well, and then we have a couple other people ready for visits this week, Travis Larkin and Pete Scott. So that's going to do it for this episode. We open up conference play with Marshall next game. And it looks like uh, Marshall's at home, so we'll be on the road starting up conference Conference USA. So, But, yeah, if you guys are enjoying the episode, enjoying the series, I should say, I hope you are because I really am. I'm going to keep this going for keep, keep this going as long as I can and probably until I'm either straight dominating with one team I end up with at the end, like depending on how we do with FIU, um, what offers I get after FIU, um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But um, I might just be their head coach the rest of the time. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But just depending on if we just become dominant and we just start winning national championship after national championship, which I don't see is happening with how difficult this actually is. Um, it's that, and it's going to take a while because if we keep changing teams, we're going to have to set up the teams how we kind of want them, um, which is going to be kind of difficult. But, um, but, yeah, it's a good test, and I, I enjoy it. So I, I like how you can – that's really one feature I love in this game, how you get offers from other teams that make sense. Like the coaching carousel on this game is 
way, way ahead of its time. But yeah, so like always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.